What is going on guys, TVM here, welcome to the second episode of FIFA 17's most underrated special cards. Play with the best at ufifa.com to get a discount on all your FIFA points and coins. Use the code TVM at checkout, the link is in the description. These are voted for by you in the comment section of the last video. It did so well. I asked you guys to name your favorite underrated player and you've come out in abundance. And we're going to kick things off with 87 rated Arnautovic. Recently moved to West Ham. Of course, I think that deal is done now. Uh, and I, it was been a while actually since I've played with Arnautovic. And fair play, you guys came out and said Arnautovic is a very underrated player. Not many people... Gave it a thumbs up, but I saw a lot of individual comments about this. And I had a look at it and I thought, you know what? Yes, actually, I really, really enjoyed him when he was out. He's very strong. He's very tall. He's not your typical winger. And yet he works very, very well. Okay, granted, he's Austrian. He doesn't link with a great deal amount of people, but he's Premier League. So you can get him into a fair few amount of sides. And he is a top, top player. And not many people use him. Al Sommer, 90 rated team of the season. Personally, I don't really see this as an underrated card card because a lot of people know that he is essentially the Syrian Ebra. He is phenomenally good. The problem with him, of course, is League and Nation. It is unbelievably difficult to fit him into a team. And that's why recently I did a super sub episode whereby we brought him on as a super sub in the 45th, 50th minute to see if it would work or he would work just as well as a sub than he does from starting. And it turns out he's almost better as a sub than he is from starting. The issue with him, of course, is if you want to start him, your team is going to be weakened. So... Yes, he's a great player. Yes, I think he's underrated in, in the sense that not many people use him. But I think that's down to the fact that his league and nation is so bad. But his finishing is excellent. His dribbling is fantastic. He's got everything you realistically want in a striker. The problem with him is you're more than likely going to have to use him as a super sub unless you like experimenting with silvers. Now we're going to move on to Scott Sinclair. A lot of people voted this up. It had 20 plus votes in the comments. And I've got to, I got to admit, I've, I've made a bit of an error here because I messed up. I should have put him in the first episode instead of one of the other players. Maybe Emery Chan. But Scott Sinclair is probably the most underrated player in FIFA. Uh, I don't know how I, I missed it, but... He, he's never used, despite the fact that he's English, easy to fit into a team. Okay, granted, he's not in the Premier League, so it is a little bit harder, but he's still English. It's very easy to fit him into a team. And he is one of the best players in the game because he just completely and utterly surprises you. You do not expect him to be as good as he is, and yet he has so much pace skills, the ball control. I mean, I think this is probably one of the ball control goals. He's just, it's glued to his foot. There's another clip here somewhere where he runs for days and nobody can take the ball off him. Again, there with a little ball roll to beat the defender. And I think this is the run. He picks it up. He goes past one. He goes past two, goes past three, inside for the third, for the fourth, fifth. I've lost count. He still got it. He's still going and bang, it's a goal. Unreal. Go try him out. And then we have Team of the Season Smolov. I took my time doing this review. I left it ages because I didn't think anyone would care. I had a few comments saying you need to review Smolov. He is brilliant. Not too many, but a couple here or there. And the same guy kept banging on. You need to review Smolov. So I thought, fine, I'll do it. Blown away. Unreal player. And there weren't many comments saying that I needed to do it. Only re realistically the same two or three people kept commenting saying that I needed to try Smolov out and I thought well because it's not that much of a call for him he can't really be that good and that's what makes him underrated not many people have tried this guy and you really really need to go pick him up and you need to give him a go he is the complete package I mean every player in this video is good and I would say that Scott Sinclair is probably a little bit better than Smolov. But it's the fact that with Scott Sinclair, I've used a couple of his informs. I kind of knew what to expect. I hadn't really used Smolov at all this year. Maybe once or twice, but not really anything great. So I wasn't expecting much. And I went into this and he just blew me out of the water. 10 out of 10 in that game. And he gets that consistently in pretty much every game that he plays in. And he's so versatile that he can run through people. He can dribble through them or dribble around them. He can shoot from distance. Just a top, top player. 
and he's never used. Go try him out. And then we're going to come to the, not necessarily the 88 rated Tuvan, right? I'm just talking about all of his special cards. Now, I haven't reviewed his team of the season. I've used it once or twice, but I've held off on a review. If you guys want to see that, feel free to let me know in the comment section. But I don't know whether you guys would be interested in it because he's got so many special cards and his stats just kept getting bumped and bumped and bumped and to the point the team of the season okay it's better than the 88 but it is not that much better than the 88 so I don't know if it's that, that much better on the field is what I'm getting at so I'll have to do a review if you guys want to see it but his entire back catalog of cards are never used I never see any whether it be the normal card the inform the team of the season i never see my opponent using a tuvan card and i'm not sure why that is because he's one of the better cards in the game for stats he has so many total game stats I don't, i'm not quite sure off the top of my head what it is for each individual card but it's very very high because he's very well rounded and he's got a complete array of skills i mean like the rest of the cards Yes, they can shoot from distance and close range and everything like that, but he's got pace. The higher you go, the, the faster he gets, obviously. He's got dribbling, he's got skills, he's got finishing from distance, close range, he's very good on both feet. It's just a complete player. And the fact that he's French as well makes it very easy for him to fit into teams, and he's not expensive throughout the entire spectrum of his cards. And there we have the end of the second episode of the underrated series. I'm not quite sure whether I'll do another one. There are a couple of players in there that I haven't mentioned. Uh, Inform Perisic is one, and the reason I haven't mentioned that is because I haven't actually reviewed, for whatever reason, the 87 rated that everyone keeps banging on about. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a separate video on Perisic and do the 87 rated cam as a separate video and that should be out in a couple of days but if you have got any other underrated special cards maybe we should do an underrated base card you know no special cards at all maybe we just take the base gold or silver version of their card if you've got any suggestions feel free to let me know in the comment section down below if you have enjoyed this video smack the like button subscribe to the channel if you're new of course and until the next time goodbye